Hello, Lilas. So I'm back with baby Noah. And Noah is the Willow Sculpt by Claire Tellum. He is the prototype number two. Um, there was three prototypes and 15 blank kits that are now officially sold out. Um, where other artists will be able to paint them. He has a full body silicone baby. Um, uh, sculpted and everything from a ball of clay poured into silk, you know, pour whatever they do. I don't know the process. And, um, and I know he's not real. <laughs> um, but we do a lot of this for entertainment. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you would, be so kindly to join the chat box. The link is in the description bar. If you don't see a join button by your subscribe button, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Otherwise, you can enjoy all my free videos right here on this channel. Um, the live stream, right? I mean, the chatterbox right now is basically strictly my live streams. I'm, you know, at this point, just pretty much doing most of my live streams in the chatterbox. I will do occasionally live streams here on the Gym Pop, but that is what I decided to do. Um, there is just a more you know mainstream setting anyway not going to get too much into that also guys if you want to get your merch you can do that um i will next month be switching out um to another line of merch um just working on some ideas right now but that right now what is in the store and available that is all good to go I'm waiting on some more of mine to come in but anyway um let's talk about these the babies and um silicone and reborns and just you know bouncing between the two I definitely find myself gravitating back to my reborns when you know I don't have a lot of extra money to um to buy the silicone babies one of the, one of the things okay so reborns and silicones are both very expensive let's be clear on that um neither one of them are cheap um for a decent a decent doll you're gonna start with a reborn for at least 500 and up um, but I found the accessibility of reborns much easier. The variety of the faces is plentiful and the prices are a lot more affordable. Um, however, they are getting to be up there as well. A lot of times I see videos or I've done videos in the past as well with asking you know which one do you like the most or which one do you prefer or which one is better um i want to answer all three of those questions um my first love have always had been reborns until i started collecting silicone once i started collecting silicone i absolutely love silicone if i could have all silicone babies i would definitely have all silicone babies that's the honest answer um however I, I would still always have reborns but I love my reborns because I have like I can do a lot more with them as far as posing as far as um just a little bit more carefree with them as well um and I mean you know taking care of a silicone baby is not like it's you know a strain or it's that difficult or that challenging like some people make it out to seem it's just that 
you know, you do have to be a little bit more careful and, you know, with the cloth body, you know, you can twirl it and this and that and something, you know, if you mess up a foot or something, it's a possibility that foot can be repaired, you know, you just, and stuff like that, but silicone is a little bit more touchy. Um, and for the price, you know, some people just not wanting to have those type of limitations. Um, which one is the best? Actually, they're pretty much, I would have to say there is no best because they both have their pros and cons and um, it's all about preference because, you know, some people do not like silicone. I don't know why, but it's true. Some people do not like silicone. And I know people be like, stop kissing that doll. It's just, so, he looks so lifelike. Like, it just makes you, you can't help but do stuff that you would do with your regular babies. So, your real babies. So, it's, it's, sometimes I catch myself after the fact when I do that. Um, but, you know, what I, I learned, like, even with trying to paint silicone babies, there's a lot of kits out here floating that you could buy, like, that um however there may be not to me a lot of them are not really as realistic you know as far as sculpting goes or you know something that I would want to really have in my collection you know so um yeah you could you can jump on a $900 kit blank kit or $800 blank kit, but it's gonna look more like an alternative baby than a real baby sometimes. Now every now and then you might get lucky and get one that's more realistic and you know, you just get a good price on it because the artists don't have this big name um, attached to it. But there are, you know, the sculpts that are pretty decent out here. Um, I find that a lot of the sculptors have their main buyers or they have their clicks and that's who they sell to and then you know you have a time trying to get a hold of them and you know the communication sucks. So silicone is a different animal altogether. Then you know I messaged um, one artist about a blank kit and you know they were like the weight is I forgot. Um, like 12 weeks or something like that. And I'm like, okay, so now I gotta wait 12 weeks just to get the blanket? Yeah, no. So it's, you know, it's, silicone to me is just one of those things you gotta have a lot of patience, a lot of money, a lot of time. And if you're painting yourself, it takes, you know, skill. Um, so I personally, right now, feel like, you know, I still feel like everybody should experience silicone at least once. I feel like you should definitely go for the Big Bang. I, I know they're pricey, but really get your dream baby at least once, rather that's, you know, just the sculpt or, you know, the whole package. But yes, partial silicone babies. I love the cloth body silicone babies, no doubt. Um, but if I had to choose between a partial and a full body, I would definitely go with a full body because, I mean, everybody wants the whole bath experience, the whole, you know, no cloth experience type thing. So, yeah. Um, what else? I'm just trying to answer a lot of questions that I've gotten, you know, recently. The... But for me, like now that I have a, a decent range of silicone babies in my collection, rather it's my private babies or, you know, ones that you guys have seen, I feel like I have enough, although I still want more and more, but I know that I can't afford it right now. So for me, the, the, the Reborns are my safety net. Like, if I'm really, really wanting to get that new baby feel 
it would have to be a reborn. Now I'm to a point though where it's like I've learned that doing that, pacifying myself, if I really want to sell a home, a reborn just not is not just gonna feel it for me. Um if it's just that I just want a new baby, then yeah. Um I miss something I really miss is I miss collecting, you know, reborns from other artists. I used to enjoy seeing other people work and, you know, just the variety and the paint styles and, you know, just all of that. And I think that next year I'm going to go back into buying from some artists that I have on my, my wish list that I want to, you know, have a baby from them in my collection. I think I'm going to go back to that. Um, I won't ever I don't think I will ever ever be able to afford another totally completed Claire Teller baby um and that is something that you know I struggle with because trust me if I had the money I would be trying to outbid everybody in the world to get you know another baby but I I can't do it anymore so the best, the closest I think I'm going to be able to get is I have on my wish list is to one day be able to paint my own Claire Teller kit, silicone kit. But I don't know if she's going to do any more silicone kits now. I'm, I'm afraid of that too. I'm like, will she stop doing that too? You know what I mean? Um... Because she used to do customs. She don't do customs anymore. She was doing buy it nows. Um, she don't do that anymore. She pretty much do auctions now. And um, mostly everybody is doing auctions now though. Um, even I've seen a lot of them are not even doing eBay auctions anymore. They're going totally to the silent auction. I mean almost every popular silicone artists out there even the reborn artists are not doing ebay anymore so that's 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 challenging and i definitely understand from an artist perspective the reasoning behind that you know you have people that mess up people auctions on purpose like bid up their dolls and then don't pay for them or you know just stuff like that or just it's just a lot of red tape and then the fees that you get charged on ebay is crazy so i get it um but i just you know i just feel bad that you know all the really nice artists the good artists are gonna be so far out of reach for us for average collectors it's really sad um honestly it's very very sad so i know with that being said i will never own another claire teller doll unless things change around again um so it'll be like a blank kit so to speak um i don't think that i would even be able to afford to have like my silicone baby painted by some people by people that i would want to paint for me for my kids because even that's expensive now so i don't know i mean a lot of people asking me now that got their willow kids they're like you know serenity who who am i gonna get to paint my kids um i know some artists out here that paints a lot of them paints very beautiful um caucasian babies but not many paint aa and then the um some of them that i actually kind of like their work from what i see on camera i've never seen a person so it's very hard for me to tell somebody oh yeah trust her with your three thousand dollar kit and then it get messed up in their life serenity you said you you know you trusted her work so i can't i i feel you know bad for trying to recommend someone and then I don't I don't know their work in person myself 
Now, some what we can do is have some of these artists start sending me their dolls so that I can review them and they're painting in person. <laughs> no. Okay, that's 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 just a joke. Um but I don't know. So I don't know. Some of you guys I've talked to in private about this, like some of the people that I seen work that looks like it's nice, but I haven't seen it in person. So it's up to you to go and do your research and decide if you want to. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely finding my way back to Reborns. It's just another thing is a lot of people make it out to sound like, oh, you, you know, it's so you know, so many things that, you know, you can't do with the Reborns that you do with the silicone. Really, the main thing about the silicone babies are that they're softer and they the, the weight, the way they feel like to touch is different. And for a lot of us, it feels more realistic and stuff like that. The way they take their pacifiers and bottles is usually different because they have open mouths usually and you can... Just put the bottle in and put the pacifier in. There's no magnets or nothing like that. Then they have the little drinking wet. So I guess they kind of do. But if you weight your Reborn really nicely, they feel great. Um, a lot of the Reborns now have more open mouths. So you can kind of just put the pacifier in without magnetizing. Or you can modify it by clipping the nipple for the, the um, pacifiers now. And... I'm telling you, the way these reborns are being painted nowadays is unbelievable. Some of them are super, super realistic. So, I don't know. I'm going to see. I'm going to get back into my reborns and see if I find it as fulfilling as I do with my silicone babies. But it's easy for me to say because I do have some silicone babies. But I do... I think I enjoy dressing my reborns more but i do a lot of that off camera you guys don't get to see that but anyway i don't want to make this video too too much longer so i will end it here sorry for the rambling i know i was just kind of rambling but hopefully you guys still enjoy the chat see you guys in the next video